the nanny, a powerful instructor. I'm Gary C. Michael. A wealthy young Christian man and his Christian wife had a two-year-old son whom they raised in their huge mansion in California. Most parents know how irritating a two-year-old can be, so they paid a well-built, attractive, live-in nanny, mainly to entertain the child and keep him out of their hair. They also knew that the nanny was a good instructor. The wife faithfully fed and bathed the child and took care of all the necessary activities of daily living. Neither parent realized what mistake they had made. It wasn't until years later that they realized that they had chosen the wrong nanny. In time, the nanny taught the little boy to cuss, and he learned about sex before he needed to know. The nanny taught him that God would still be happy with any lifestyle that he chose to live. This nanny had the whole family buying all kinds of harmful food and even had them watching plain old wicked movies that would run every holy angel out of their home. In time, the parents lost their desire to read from the word of God. The nanny convinced them that God had no real standards and that the love of the world was just fine with him. Years down the road, when the two-year-old son was now 22 and the parents were middle-aged, they finally realized that the nanny had led their son to commit crimes large enough to land him in prison. They realized that if it were not for the nanny, their prayer life would have been better without, throughout the years and their son would probably be a preacher instead of a prison inmate. Although too late, they now decided to kill the nanny. Here's how they did it. They destroyed that TV that played the part of a nanny in their home. The nanny, a powerful instructor. I'm Gary C. Michael. A wealthy young Christian man and his Christian wife had a two-year-old son whom they raised in their huge mansion in California. Most parents know how irritating a two-year-old can be, so they paid a well-built, attractive, live-in nanny, mainly to entertain the child and keep him out of their hair. They also knew that 